Welcome to Cabbage Patch Soap. My name is Laura and today we are making Comfort and Joy Soap. So this soap is going to be based on or inspired by uh, the movie It's a Wonderful Life. I believe Wanda was the one who guessed correctly during the last live. Hi Stacey and Ian, welcome. Let's see here. Well, that was you, Stacy, who guessed it. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. Stacy guessed it then. Um, I remember somebody saying that uh, they thought maybe it's a wonderful life, but it wasn't Christmas time. But it's never too early to start Christmas soap. And I need to grab my soap towels, which I have moved. Aha! Here we go. Well, no, that's that's the wrong one. Let me grab my other soap towels. We will also be cutting the Wizard of Oz inspired tornado soap. Yeah, the silly black and white movie that you could think of that was still playing on TV. Yeah, I had no idea. Like I said, I haven't been watching TV. Last time I watched TV, there were lots of black and white movies that played. So I guess that was a uh, way too good of a clue. Next time I'll be more vague. We'll say. It's a movie, and then just leave it at that to see if you guys can guess. Because <clears throat> that would be completely fair. I have kind of a fun design idea. I don't know if it's really going to work. Uh, in my head, it sounds like it would be kind of cool. Um, but it involves hoping that... Mm, how do I put it? Like, hoping the swirl is visible. Okay, so let's get the soap cut before I lose track of what I'm doing. Let's see. Yeah, you wondered if you were right when I said I wasn't going to give any more clues. Right, right. Exactly. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's a movie where if you say anything else about it, it kind of gives it away. You know, it's it's very, very iconic movie. Very well known. Okay, let's line this up. And this one, of course, is the, the one that we scented with... um. Sparkle. No. Star showers. Yeah, star showers. Okay. So it smells so good. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites. I think I have it available as a uh, wearable fragrance in my shop. I'll have to double check. Because this is one worth wearing. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to... Making sure I'm cutting it correctly. Because... We don't want that to happen. There we go. Yeah, come on, tornado. I know, right? The only one and only time we want a tornado. Okay, here's the first bar. Oh, that's much better. Okay, so yeah, you can see the funnel come down like this. That looks a lot better. There's more. It's better. Like, the form is much better. You got the stormy clouds on top. Yeah, I like that. I mean, I hate tornadoes. But, <laughs> but I like that the design looks more like it's supposed to. And I think I like it better with uh, the more blue and less yellow. Oh, hey, look how that one came out. That one's pretty good. And here's this side. Yeah. Yeah, Star Showers is a really good choice for this. I probably should have done that in the first place, but I wanted to try that fragrance. And here's the other one. Once again, we got the funnel that comes down. And there's that side. I like how it, the yellow here on the top kind of came out real stormy looking. It kind of brings down that stormy top down into the like the the, the feel of it because see how the yellow has like the little things that stick out and it has that on the cloud uh, the design carried over looks sort of like clouds yeah and accidentally that is kind of what the clouds look like <laughs> when you get tornadoes so that was I would say a happy accident, but I don't know anybody who would be happy about tornadoes. And uh, here's the samples of <laughs> the tornadoes. So, well, okay, that was that came out much better. So I'm happy with the design. Um, I'm not happy about tornadoes. But uh, if a tornado is in soap form, then it's acceptable. It's probably the only acceptable form of a tornado. That looks kind of cool, I end up like that. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this on the shelf to cure. And I popped out the individual mold or the individual bar, and this is how it came out. It's really pretty. I like the, the blue. I like how it stayed nice and bold. And this is that brilliant blue that I mixed with a little bit of titanium dioxide. And I'm really happy that that came out because when you put blues and grays next to each other, sometimes they kind of disappear. And that did not happen here, so I'm really glad. Thank you. Okay, I went ahead and turned that fan off. We don't need that interrupting our regularly scheduled program. All right. I am... Oh, I should have probably made a spot. Um, probably should have cleared a spot before we started because I had a large order for soap come in and they are on... They are taking up an... A whole entire shelf to themselves. Okay. What I'm going to do is put it next to the other tornado soap. And that way I can find them all easily later on when I need them. There's those two. All right. And the samples. I think next, the next live. I want to start on um, maybe a couple a couple Halloween soaps. So I think that the oh whoops I forgot this one the in the, the it's a wonderful life theme actually is pretty good because it's sort of it's not really a ghost story necessarily but it's kind of has that same sort of feel and. Um, so I think it'll be like a good transition into Halloween um, themed soaps. So even though it's a Christmas thing and it's Christmas is after Halloween, we aren't concerned about that. Time can't dictate the things we do or something. It's time to rebel against doing things in order, I guess. You can tell I'm so committed to the cause. Okay, I'm going to put this back, and then we will get started on this really cool soap. The fragrance itself, the name of the fragrance is called Comfort and Joy. And... It's a fragrance that a friend of mine really likes. And uh, she wanted she wanted some car freshies made with this fragrance. And uh, she had the fragrance already. So we were just going to use hers. But they were kind of, I don't know, there wasn't really enough left in the bottle. And it was okay. And I was like, I really want this to be stronger. So there's like this huge, like, story time thing going on here. So um, brace yourself. So, I thought, well, why don't I just order a little bit more of the fragrance, and then that way I can make the the fragrance a little bit stronger for the for the beads, so I can make the freshies, so they'll smell, you know, the right amount of smelliness. And then I thought, well, I can't, like, the amount of fragrance I needed wasn't, they don't sell the bottles in exactly, like, you know four and a half ounces or two and a half or whatever, whatever it was I needed. So I just got a slightly larger bottle. So here it is. It's called Comfort and Joy by Nurture Soap. And I thought, you know, I could make a soap with it. And then immediately I thought of It's a Wonderful Life. So I was like, well, we got to do it now. So the description that they give for this is a perfect winter holiday scent. Red apples, nectar, berries, orange, and cinnamon mingle with amber and musk to create a sophisticated holiday blend, reminiscent of warm apple cider on a cold winter day. And it definitely is apple cider forward. Um, let me smell here. Yeah, absolutely. It's apples and then and then holiday spices after. And it has a... I like the name Comfort and Joy because it's, it is a very comforting scent. Like, there's something else in there that it's, like, a deep... Maybe it's the musk or something, but there's just something in there. And anyway, 
So um, this smells really, really good. Supposedly, it should not accelerate the batter. So that's why I went ahead and chose a design that was going to have a couple different elements. And yeah. OK, so first of all, I'm going to, um, but we're still going to add the fragrance you know, towards the end, just so that we don't have any surprises. Um, these are the oils. Let me show you the colors I want to work with. So first of all, it's a black and white film. So we got black and white. Well, actually, this is gray, pewter, silver, and white. Um, I didn't want black in this one. I want it to be a little bit lighter color, colored soap. And I want to dust the top with gold. I think hopefully this will bring out that like holiday-esque-ness of it. But if you remember, if you've seen the movie, um, there's a guardian angel that helps out the main character. And I was trying to decide how I would represent that in a soap without using embeds because I didn't really have any like angel embeds I could use. <clears throat> and I thought, well, what about a color? What color would represent the angels? And I thought, well, you know, it's not really a color. Nothing, just nothing felt right. And I was kind of doing some research on the movie because it's been a, you know, a couple of years since I've seen it. Well, actually, I think I saw it, probably saw it last Christmas, but um, so it's been a while. I've slept since then, so. But anyways, just nothing jumped out at me. And then I realized, I realized I had something kind of perfect and obvious. You have it on Blu-ray, yeah. I think I have, yeah, Clarence, yep, yep, Clarence. That's right, Stacey. Um, I think I have, I may have it on DVD now. Um, I don't have a Blu-ray player, so that won't help me, but I don't have a TV either, so that doubly doesn't help me. But, um. I watch it like on the computer if I want to watch it. But yeah, anyways, um, I thought I bought it on DVD, but I can't remember. I'll have to go look at my DVD. Anyways, so so this is what I thought of. I'm going to hope that this works. So this will be the angel color. It glows in the dark. Oh, you can't see because I got the lights on it. But, you know, I don't know if the camera's picking this up at all. Yeah, so I thought, well, glow in the dark, right? Um, anyhow. That's my thought. So I want to do a swirl. I want it to be like a white soap with maybe like a gray swirl and this. And uh, this is what I did was I just dissolved it in some olive oil. And then that looks really funny on the camera because some of it is still glowing and some of it isn't. And so it's <laughs> giving a really weird effect in real life. Anyhow, um, I want it so that if you were to like put it in, you know, put it in dark in like a dark room, or if you were to shine a black light on it, you'll see kind of a glowing like streak going through the soap. But um, I won't be able to put very much uh, soap batter in this because it takes because the soap batter is kind of translucent, and then then it gets more opaque as it dries. Only the surface that's showing is going to glow as you use it up. Um, It'll like it'll it'll always glow. There'll always be some on the surface, but my point is is like it's not. This is clear, so you're seeing a lot more. And I just don't know how how this if this is going to give us the payoff I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do is put this in regular batter with no color. That way, um, the streak will look like like a neutral color. It won't be white, won't be gray, but when you shine light on it, it'll glow. So anyhow, it's a shame Wanda isn't here to see the glow in the dark. But anyhow, she'll probably see it later. But this is that. Oh, and I should show you. Um, this is the glow in the dark from uh, Nurture Soap that I was telling you guys about. I'm trying to get it to the camera to pick this up. Anyways. Oh, awesome. Okay, yeah, you missed it. Sure. Okay. Yeah, she's not required to watch this, obviously, but I know she likes glow in the dark. Um, probably for her, the most interesting part will see the be the cutting of the soap because then we'll be able to see if it worked, but I'm going to take my headset off and put on my mask. Or, yeah, my mask. You have to turn the lights off for us to see the glow in the dark. LOL. Yeah, I do. I know. I'm, I guess I can, I suppose, I suppose. All right, watch the cameras auto adjust. Okay, so first of all, do, do, do. there. Yeah, 
in real life, I can see it glowing with the lights turned on. So, yep, it glows. Yeah, that is glowing. Yeah, see what I mean? But it's also in, in a mostly clear oil. So, I, I don't know. I don't remember if I've ever tried. I don't think I've ever tried this in a, like, regular soap before. I've used it in Melton Pour. It works beautifully. That's what that moon. Um, remember the, um, I think it was, like, Autumn Moon or something. And it had, I think you pointed out that it had, like, the wolf looking. And it was, like, autumn colors. This is what I used to make the moon. Yeah, the moon, right, the moon in a wolf soap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Wanda, welcome. Hey, Wanda, did you see the glow in the dark? Do I need to show you again? Okay, I'll show you again. I'll turn off the lights. Got my black light. We're going to see if this works. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I haven't tested it in normal soap batter before. And there we go. That's it glowing. That's going to be the angel. Hopefully. So this is that, this is that mica I was telling you about. The one from Nurture Soap. And I just got a little jar of it here, see. And I got lots left. This is, this is still more than half full. So. You got some. Good, good. Now you can try it out and see how it works in resin. And I'm going to see how... I know it's good for soap. I know it's safe for skin use. But I don't know um, how it's going to work in this type of soap. So we're going to try. And if you missed it, the movie is uh, that this was inspired by is uh, It's a Wonderful Life. So I'm going to do like a gray and white for the black and white movie. And um, anyway... And this can be the angel, because I couldn't think of another way to represent the angel without literally putting, like, an angel in it. Yours came in the other day. It works great and resin. Awesome. Good. Yeah, they're, 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 their micas are really good. But I've only really tested them in soap. But I would assume they'd still be good in other other types of projects. Um, you know what? Let me get a smaller container, because I really don't want to accidentally overdo it with the angel swirl. I want to make sure that the mica in there is really nice and bold. In fact, I'm going to add a little bit more because I'm sure what I added is plenty. But so use it in the shower and you go to the nightclub, you're going to glow in the dark. Um, uh, probably not. Most of the like micas wash off. But if your tub is dirty, like if you don't, if you take a shower and you don't like clean your shower stall out, um, like if you don't scrub it down occasionally and there's like buildup, like um, water deposit type buildup, sometimes the micas will grab onto those a little bit. Um, and if that happens, those little spots in the shower might, might start to glow. So there's that. So that could be exciting depending on how much you want your shower to look like the inside of a disco. Hey, you hope so. That would be awesome. It would be fun. It would be fun to glow. Oh, good. It's a video that's coming. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, Wanda has a, her own channel. Uh, she does resin art and other things. And it's really, really cool. So you guys should definitely check out her channel. And Stacy has an Instagram. And she makes tumblers. And has a cat. So, just mixing up the white. All right, so let me get situated here. I'm a little bit tired today, so I'm having to double and triple remind myself of what I was intending to do. So, a little bit slow. All right. I'm just going to mix this a little bit. This is, thankfully, this is moving pretty slow. I made sure to have everything prepared ahead of time so it wouldn't be too warm. All right, let's do the angel first just so that I don't overdo it. Uh, that looks, that looks totally fine. And I want to do, I want to put more. I want to be careful. 
and not reckless. Okay. I want to do mostly white and have the gray, like a streak. Like I want it to be a swirl, but I don't, I don't want the colors to all be equal. Okay. Let's tap this off. I don't know. I'm going to, but I'm going to go ahead and blend it, blend in the colors. And then we'll do the, um, fragrance as we do the colors. Let's see here. Yes, yeah, Zooey is on top of the kitchen cabinets right now. One of his new spots. How cute. It's interesting. When they pick places to sleep, they all kind of have their own little spot and personalities. Every cat has a different place that they like. Okay, so I'm going to put in a bunch of this white. I want this to really be white. Okay, that looks good. We'll mix this. Yep, that looks really good. Oops. As I put air bubbles. And then, of course, the fragrance. I'm just getting the soap batter off the edges here. And I want this to stay relatively, you know, fluid. All right. Oh, this smells so good. Wanda, this one is, um, the fragrance is called Comfort and Joy, and it smells kind of like apple cider with holiday spices. It smells so good. It's a very, like, nostalgic holiday scent. But it's, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it's, like, one that you could really use all year round for different things. Um... Like apple, you could call it apple orchard. You could anything apple y related. Um, oh, this is the wrong mold. Um, let's see. Where is the mold I was going to use? Oh, it's way down there at the bottom. Okay. I grabbed the wrong one off the shelf. Oh, Okay, give me just a second here. Let's hope the soap doesn't solidify on me. I totally grabbed the wrong thing, so just need a second here. As I significantly decrease my chances of success with every wasted moment. Okay. Go ahead and pour in the white first. Yeah, that's getting nice and thick. It's nice and custardy. Get the air bubbles out, and we'll do the gray. Mood rings? Oh, that'll be fun. Mood rings are a lot of fun. Should do like a whole line of like earrings and bracelets like the beads you know those beads you made you can make mood beads and turn them into bracelets and you'd have mood bracelets that'd be kind of cool all right let's okay that's nicely blended so we got the gray we'll put the fragrance in And then the rest of this fragrance, after the soap, I will put in the um, the beads for the for the car freshie that I'm making for my friend. Okay, so that's it for this. Let's go ahead and pour this in here. Yep. All right. I'm gonna do a little bit of a swirl just because I want to make sure that there's more than one dimension to this. <clears throat> I should grab this whole tool. This is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do a swirl just to make sure. Yeah, that's plenty fluid. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I'd be able to make the glow in the dark swirl like I wanted. Okay, so this is the rest. Okay, this goes 
I need my little spatula. Let's see if it's, yep, here it is. We're going to mix it in here. And see, there's no other color. This is not going to be, this part of the soap will not be colored so that this glow in the dark has the best possible chance of showing. And there we go. Just going to scrape this in. I thought about doing like a, an oil line. I've done that before with other colors. It comes out really, really pretty, but the line is so thin that I didn't think it would be visible. So I decided against it. So I'm thinking this will be fine. Let me just see. Oh yeah, that still glows. Awesome. Okay, perfect. So yeah, that, that totally still glows. I probably didn't even need the extra um, the extra glow mic. It glows just as bright as it did with the, just the oil by itself. I need to hurry. Feeling the pressure. Because that soap is not getting any thinner in the mold. But I want to make sure this is really mixed well because I don't want it to sep the batter to separate. We'll have to do it all over again. Okay. All right. So um, let's go ahead and pour this in here. And then I'm going to swirl it all in. Okay. With the swirl tool. Down all the way and up. Down and up. There we go. Okay. So we shall see. What day is it? Monday? Thursday. We will see on Thursday what happened inside the soap. Okay. Let me tap this out. And I think I want to, this, this top here is going to be glowing. So what I want to do is get some of this white batter and kind of cover the glowing parts up a little bit just so that the glow is more inside the soap. Ooh, this is a nice texture. Look at that. Like marshmallow fluff. Kind of like that. Just tap that down. And, okay, just going to kind of scrape this over. And then what I want to do is um, put this gold on top. There we go. That's good. That'll be pretty. And get the air bubbles out. This is getting thick on me, so I need to hurry. Okay, so here we've got air bubbles. Let's get them out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, we've got the uh, glow in the dark in here, the gray, the white. It's scented with comfort and joy, and hopefully this will glow after it sets up. But you can kind of, yeah, let me turn off the light so you can see what the batter looks like. Um, it will go a little more opaque, but I don't think that'll be a problem. Oh, yeah, you can already see it glowing. I don't even need to light to, but but I will. We'll get that extra, extra, extra bright. Look how cool that is. And you can see the gray and the white on top is covering that, like I was saying. And I'm hoping that this looks really cool later. Yeah, it is bright considering it's in soap batter. Let me see what you guys are saying here. Oh yeah, Ian. He drives everywhere. Oh yeah, Stacy, that's a good idea. Those light boxes can really give you some nice photos. Yeah, 6,000 miles. That is a lot of traveling. And gets you in the Halloween mood even more. Yep. Well, don't worry. I was thinking of starting the Halloween stuff this, like, whatever. The next day is Thursday, the next live. Oh, we need to use the little... Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. Um, we need to put the extra soap in here. So what I'll do, since the 
there's a tiny bit of this glow left, but I have a feeling that this is, yeah, this is the most fluid. So let's start with the white, get this in there. Uh, set that aside. Okay. I'm going to be putting it in, in this one here. I don't know why I'm using this tiny spatula. I have a big one. Okay. Well, now I've made this needlessly complicated. It's fine, though. Okay, so... Anyways, we should have a gray and white soap that's got swirls and streaks of glow-in-the-dark, hopefully, and also the top... Um, underneath that layer with the swirls and the gold and stuff should also be glowing. Um, that big air bubble came out of that. That's good. All right. Let's check this gray. Yep, we got some gray. And I might, I think I will. I'm going to get the rubbing alcohol and um, spray the top of the soap to help that gold stick because I don't want it smudging later. Okay, I'm just scraping out all the gray. I wonder if any of that glow in the dark is going to show on this individual bar. There's so little of it left, but if it were, if it does show up, that'll be kind of cool. Even though like these bars, these individual bars are not my focus, but it's always nice to have one that kind of comes out. That comes out kind of cool looking. All right. It's like a spider that glows in the dark. Yeah. Uh, do a spider web thing. Not sure how that could be done. If you can, that would uh, then figure it out. Yeah, I have I have a mold that um, it makes little like about this big around little um, soaps that are spiders and spider webs. Um, and I use them as embeds to go in a bar. So I would make individual bars like this, but they were they were square. And then I'd put that spider in the middle um, with the spider web, but I'm not sure how I would do, I guess I could do like a black soap mixed with glow in the dark and do a swirl and the swirl could be the spider web and you know, that could, that could work. Um, but other than like constructing the soap, like uh, carefully individually laying each line, um, cause that could work too, but it would take forever. And I would have to probably mix the soap in tiny little batches and carefully pour each layer and I'm just not sure um I have hmm I want to say like the focus or the time for that but it's incredibly time consuming and I just I guess I I feel like on a live stream it would be kind of a boring video but I could be wrong I have been wrong lots of times before okay so here's a blob of the glow in the dark here's another one and I'm still wearing this mask. I'm going to need to take this off because it's uncomfortable. All right, let's get that out of here. We've got a little bit more. And I'll do like maybe like a little design. It looks like custard, but like glow-in-the-dark custard. Radioactive forbidden custard. Whoops. Just dropped some of it. Well, that'll be fun if this turns out. There we go. Okay, so we got some on there. Let me clean up the stuff I spilled. It's on my clothes. So now my clothes are going to glow. Okay. Take a chopstick. Let me see what you guys are saying real quick. Yes, for preventing custody. Exactly. Like have the pump in one glow in the dark. Oh, you're talking to Wanda. Yeah. You're not a drawer. Get a stencil. There's a lot of really good spiderweb stencils. That's the nice thing. The spiderwebs are like a, uh, um, they're kind of a somewhat symmetrical design. It's really easy to get stencils of them. Pumpkin patch soap. That would be cute. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, 
swirl this really quick. I'll go through here, go through here, go through here, and go through here. I got something going on there. Hugs good enough. I don't want to... I do want to mess with it. What am I saying? I'm like, I don't want to mess with it, but I'm like, that's not true. I want to keep fiddling with it. Maybe there's a couple little things I can do. Like right here, this kind of blob of glow-in-the-dark. Kind of go like that. Give it more of a shape. This looks fine. This looks, This is hard to tell. This looks like a leaf here. This looks like a leaf and flowers or something. Or just a pretty design. So that one looks fine. This... There we go. Okay. Okay, I think that's good enough for me to stop messing with it. I <laughs> mess with it, yeah. Thanks, Ian. I'm going to take some of this gray. In the, in the corner here, the gray didn't quite cover all the white. And I'm going to put it over there because I don't want it to distract from the glow-in-the-dark design that's going to be on top. Okay, let's see if I can tap it and get it to come down on its own. No, of course not. Okay, I'm gonna gonna scrape it. There we go. Okay, so now now it's covering. Now it's covering the white. Okay. And then we will, I guess I will, since you're not here, tap this out. Kind of smooth down that edge. There's a large, like a really tall ridge going around where I cleaned it off. And I'm just trying to knock that down a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to sit here and fuss with this bar that doesn't matter until you guys die of boredom. So I'm better, I better stop. But there we go. Okay, so that one's done. And you see a hummingbird? Oh, you're right. Yeah, right there. All these like, it's like looking, it looks like a penguin to me. But yeah, it's a penguin with a hummingbird beak. I'll turn the lights off. So, might as well see what this looks like. Oh well, yeah, hummingbird drinking out of a flower. There's two of them. Yeah, it's pretty bright for being soap batter. And here's the other one. It's been sitting for a couple of minutes. So yeah. Okay, so far I'm really happy with how this is performing in regular soap. Once it sets, we'll see if it's still as bright. When we cut the soap, we'll see if the swirl showed up. I'm hopeful that it that it all comes out perfect, but uh, if not, then we have some soap that just smells really good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, we forgot to put some gold. I don't want to... Um, hmm, do I want to mess up the design? Yes. No. Um, well, I have an idea. I'll put some in my hand and then carefully, like, sprinkle it where the glow in the dark is not. A couple little specks of gold. There we go. Okay. That, that's plenty. I'm going to spray it really good to get it to stay down. There. You can't really, well, maybe you can see it on camera. Just a couple little gold specks, like fairy dust or something. And then this, um, where's my spatula? I'm going to clean this up because it's overflowing too much. So, there we go. It's just too much. Oh, I guess I could have put this in that individual bar. Oh, well. Don't want to mess up my design now. That's better. Okay, so that that has been cleaned up, and then I'll do this because that mica, like where I sprinkled it on in some places, is like super thick, and that's not a problem. But if I leave it just like that without doing anything to it, uh, the top layer might kind of float away, and I don't want that. I don't want it to like um interfere with other soaps or something. So what I'll do is just spray this down really good. And then that should help anchor the mica down a little bit better. I can also take it after it's been um, sitting and all that. And, uh, you know, after it's it's set, I can also brush off the extra with the, with the paintbrush or something. 
maybe some coming out of the flower like pollen. Yeah, if I could get it that specific, but with the gloves on, I can't really feel what I'm doing. I don't want to make them make it worse. What am I spraying it with? Rubbing alcohol. So rubbing alcohol, if there's any like bubbles, like right on right on the surface that I can't see, it'll burst the bubbles. Um, it also just helps the mica, the loose mica that's sitting on top, it kind of helps it sit into the soap better. Normally I use my little um, mica sprayer and put more of like an even uh, dusting layer on top and it gives it kind of a metallic sheen. But I like I like this. I like the, the specks of gold. Um, plus I've been using the other method so much I want to, you know, use some variety. So let's let's look at it one more time. Now that we got it all cleaned up. Let's look at it one more time. So this is going to be, you'll see less of the glowing because I cleaned up a lot of the overspill. But see? And then, so at least we know that it's, so far, it's working pretty good. So I'm really happy with what we've got right now and hopefully on Thursday. This is going to be a hard one to wait for because I'm super curious. I really want to see what this ends up looking like. Sucks to have to wait. I need like UV cured soap batter so I can just hit it with UV and pop it out of the mold. That's what we need. I even have all the UV lights and everything. There we go. Yeah, surprisingly bright glow. Yeah, it really is. Um, um, yeah, I wasn't. I was. I was expecting it to glow, but that is super bright for being in a a, a batter that's not completely clear. But like I said, I've always been. Ha I've been always been really happy with their micas. Um, everything they sell seems to do what it says it'll do. I haven't had any issues. Um, but I've never personally tested it in a regular soap batter. I've always used it in melt and pour for like children's soaps or um, to make embeds. So now we know. Um, I have a kind of a fun idea for the Halloween one on Thursday. And I'm not going to say anything else because it'll be more fun to make it a surprise. But it's one that a long time ago, somebody made a suggestion for it, and I wasn't sure how to make that work. And I may have come up with a way to make it work in a bar form instead of um, doing like shaped shaped bars. And again, I'm not going to say much else. I don't want to give it away, but maybe you guys can guess, but I don't think so. Um, yeah, so. But anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me. It was a lot of fun to make this and to have you guys here to chat with. Just let me know if you have any other suggestions um, or ideas for Halloween soaps. I would love to hear them. I do have some um, like cookie cutter cutouts, cut out things that I can make and um, different things. So if you make a suggestion, I can probably find something that'll make it work. And Thursdays, I know what I'm making for Thursday, but then after that, um, any suggestions are definitely welcome. And please consider liking this video and subscribing if you enjoyed this. Um, I am trying to get to 500 subscribers so that I can get the community tab open. So I can um, do like, I want to do like polls and have you guys vote on what soap you want to see and things like that. And I need the community tab for that. And um, I will see you guys on Thursday. Have a great night, everybody.